Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I hope that you all are well. Today we start our lecture from exercise 6.2 class 10. First in this exercise we first understand the basic statics. So we read in this chapter frequency table, arithmetic mean, geometric mean, mod, harmonic mean, median and mean. So first we have defined arithmetic mean which is arithmetic mean is a measure that determines a value of variable under study by dividing the sum of all values of the variable by their number. It means that arithmetic mean is all the numbers and divide by sum of the numbers. It means that the numbers which are given, so total number is let's say 7 and so we add the 7 numbers then it is the arithmetic mean and arithmetic mean is represented by x bar. The next we have geometric mean which is geometric mean of a variable is the nth positive root of the product of the x1, x2, x3 and so on. Observation in symbol we write that gm is equal to x1 gm is equal to x1, x2, x3 up to so on and then nth term. This is the geometric mean. In harmonic mean, refers to the value obtained by reciprocating the mean of the reciprocal of x1, x2, x3 up to so on observation symbol. That means that harmonic mean is the reciprocal of geometric which is n sigma 1 over x. This sign will be sigma. The next is mod. So mod is the most frequent occurring observation in the data it is the observation that occur maximum number of times in the given data that means that more for example when the data is given so what is the repeating value in any time so we have 2 is very much and so 2 is the mod of this data the next we have median. It is the measure which determines the middle most observation in the data set. It divides the data set into two equal parts. It means that in median we have the data which is given for example. So we divide into two to parts and then the central number is the median of this data. So First, we read arithmetic mean by direct method. Find arithmetic mean by direct method for following set of data. So, the data is given which is 200, 225, 350, 375, 270, 320, and 290. We find arithmetic mean that let x is equal to the data which is 200. 350, 375, 270, 320, 290. So the data is given that x is equal to the given data and sigma is mean that all. So we have sigma x is equal to the data which is add up. So 200 plus 350. 375, 270, 320, 290. So, we know that arithmetic mean which is equal to the total number sum of data divided by the total number of which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, divided by 7 and the total number add up data which is equal to 2, 0, Three zero. So divide by so we have seven, which is equal to two ninety. The required answer of mean, which is equal to two ninety.
The next question is for each of the data in question number three, compute arithmetic mean using indirect method. The direct or indirect method is that the direct method which is the following data is given and we let equal to x then sum of the data and divide by the total number of numbers. So we have in indirect method. In for example, the data which is given 12, 14, 17, 20, 24, 29, 35 and 45. So we find automatic mean in indirect method. So let we have the table which is in this form, so x the data which is 12, 14, 17, 20, 24, 29, 35 and 45. So we have the indirect method which is x minus a. So a is the A is equal to 20. So we have, because that in the right side we have arithmetic mean A plus D N. So A will add is equal to 20 plus 36 the total data and divide by N which is number. So A we have 20 plus 4.5 which is equal to 20. 4.5 So x minus a so 12 minus 20 which is minus 8 14 minus 20 minus 6 17 minus 20 minus 3 20 minus 20 is 0 24 minus 24 uh, 29 minus 20 which is 9 35 minus 20 15 and 45 minus 20 which is 25 so the total data which is equal to sum of this, so we have data is equal to sum of data which is equal to 36. The next is find the harmonic mean which is the given the salaries of five teachers in rupees are as fellow. 1, 1, 500, 1, 2, 400, 15,000, 500 and 800. Find range and standard derivation. We have without that range which is equal to maximum minus minimum. So the largest value which is equal to 15,000 and smallest value which is equal to 1 and 500. Minus which is equal to 3500. So range of x is equal to 3500. The next we find standard deviation. So we have the formula of standard deviation which is sum of x minus x bar whole square divided by n. So we have x x minus x bar and x minus x bar whole square. So x which is equal to the data 11500 one two four hundred fifteen thousand one four five hundred 
तो x minus x bar in the right side we find x bar first, so which is equal to data n divided by total number. So we have six to eight double zero divided by five, and the required answer is one three six four zero. So we minus one five zero to one three six four zero, which is equal to two one four zero minus. One to four thousand and minus one three six four zero, which is equal to eight minus one two four zero. Then fifteen thousand minus one three six four zero, which is equal to eight sixty. One four five thousand five hundred minus one three six four zero, equal to One four five hundred eight hundred and fifteen thousand. So we have one one six zero, and the last is one three six zero. So x minus x bar, the whole square of two one four zero, which is equal to four five seven nine six zero. Minus one two four zero whole square which is equal to one five three seven six hundred. Next is eight sixty which is seven three nine six hundred and the last which is one three four five six zero and the last is one three six zero whole square which is equal to one eight six one eight four nine six hundred. So sum up of x minus x whole square, which is equal to add up these three four numbers five, which is equal to one double zero five two double triple zero. So the formula which is put. Is one double zero five two hundred two thousand divided by five, which is equal to two zero one zero four hundred, and square root, which is equal to one four one seven point eight eight five eight. So this is the standard deviation formula. First, we have the range, which is uh, uh, x maximum minus x minimum. So range of x is given. Then we find standard deviation. So formula which is apply sum of x minus x bar whole square divided by n. So we first find the data of x, then x minus x, then x minus x bar whole square. Putting in the formula, the required answer which is equal to one four one seven point double eight five eight. So this is the questions of exercise six point two class ten. I hope that you understand these questions. So, inshallah, we see in the next video. Allah Hafiz.